Hey guys, this is Anthony. Uh, it's been a little while since I've made a video. I uh, had a lot going on, but uh, I did a little lock exploration and wanted to uh, post some stuff I discovered. So uh, I, let's see, let's start off by saying I have a smart key that uh, was new, still is pretty new, uh, that I bought a new in box from someone off of Craigslist. Um, I used the Bennett Resetter to change the key to this one, the 42336. Uh, it works fine. Um, so I had this idea uh, because the Lishies don't work on the smart key very well. Um, they can if you sort of create a tool to put in the side. Um, you know, it's this, uh, the smart key is. Uh, possibly weaker inside um, and more susceptible to brute force, but uh, the slider mechanism uh, that makes the reeking possible does make picking more difficult. So uh, in any case, uh, so in my mind, I can't reliably uh, count on the Lishi to be able to get me in if I uh, encounter a smart key and need to open a lock in my uh, real estate travel. So... Um, so I was thinking, well, all right, so uh, Locks NY had posted something, and I think there was another video as well that uh, showed a technique of using Lishi to uh, decode the um, smart key. So you can't necessarily open it, but you can at least figure out what the key binning is, like such, you know, 42336 in this case. Uh, so then you can go punch out a key, and that's great. Um, until uh, Deviant and Tony uh, come up with the uh, Lishy Clippers Clipper guides that work for Quickset, though, uh, that means that I would have to have my somewhat heavy HPC 1200 punch with me, which is not impossible, but it's not. I don't. I only carry it when I uh, think I'm going to need it. Uh, it's slightly uh, an ordeal. So I thought. Uh, it sure would be cool if I didn't have to cut a key at all. And so I remember that there are uh, quick set tryout keys. Um, you, Lock Picking Lawyer did a video a while back. Um, and basically the video said something to the effect of there's a 98% chance that your key will be in this pile or that a key in this pile will work for your door if you have a smart key. Uh, and that is based on uh, the fact that the smart key system apparently uh, allows half cuts to work. So if you are if you have a, a four and you had a key that was cut to three and a half, in theory, that should work because it's within the tolerances. Um, and so that is the basis of the tryout key set is that um, because of those tolerances that allow you to use half cuts, uh, it, basically if you had a one and a half cut, uh, it could work in theory for both a one and a two. Uh, and so I found a uh, PDF online that gave the half cut measurements for uh, the quick set smart key system uh, so that you could, in theory, uh, cut your own tryout key set instead of paying 450 bucks or whatever it is to, to purchase it. Um, and I was just kind of curious, uh, not only for the possible DIY aspect of it, but um, I just wanted to understand it better. So uh, that system that I found online that had the measurements uh, that has basically it put the first half cut, it called an A, uh, th that would work is basically one and a half and it would work for one and two. The B was, a, uh, I think, a three and a half and would work for three and four. And the C would work for uh, five and six because that's a five and a half cut. Um, so that was interesting. So I said, this should be easy. So uh, I, I, you know, before I go to the trouble of cutting 243 keys, um, because that's what you would need if you have three possibilities and five spaces, I think three to the fifth is 243. Uh, that, that's how that works. But um, anyway, before I cut a whole bunch of keys, uh, in my travels, I've learned, um, you know what, before you go too far out on a limb, you know, test it first. So I said, all right, let's just test this theory. Um, uh, so, and, uh, so if this is four, two, three, three, six, which I, I think I may have already done this, but so that works perfectly in theory, um, that would work with, let's see, four, uh, so, um, that would be, let's see, so A is one and two, B, so that would be B, you know what, let me do this with a pen, I would do, uh, B4 would be covered by a B, 
two would be covered by an A, three would be covered by a B, four would be covered by a B, and six would be covered by a C. And that's because A covers both one and two, it's halfway between them. Uh, B covers three and four, it's halfway between them. And C covers five and six, it's halfway between them. So in theory, if this, if this theory is sound, then if I were to cut a key to the half depth that I found in that um, PDF online, then uh, I would be able to, uh, it should just open right up, uh, just like all the videos show with Lockpicking Lawyer and a few other people that showed the tryout keys. Uh, this, should, this should be easy peasy. And then I'll know I'm on solid ground and uh, that, you know, it, it should work pretty well. So um, I cut a key to the half depth um, and basically, um, I say it works very well here, but I, bit, there's a little technique here that, that it, at the very end, I'm, it's sort of what I'm leading up to. Uh, so basically I cut it and I said, all right, this is going to work great. I put it in, it didn't work. I said, what the hell? To, you know, I, I took out the calipers and measured it. I said, why is this not working? I'm, I'm, I really am trying. I don't know if you can see it, the uh, whiteness of my finger here. So I'm like, you know, what the hell? So I... Oh, and, you know, and occasionally it did work. So, but, you know, so I'm trying, I'm trying. And so I said, well, it's not working very reliably, you know, come on. So, so I said, you know, this is very frustrating. This is supposed to be like butter. This is supposed to be easy peasy. I cut it, it works and I'm good to go. And then I cut 242 more keys. And then I can say, well, if I run into a, to a smart key and I have my Lishy, I might not be able to pick it, but I can say, well, I know what the bidding is. I can figure out the closest half cuts are and go to the tryout key set and I should have it and be able to get in. That should be beautiful. Um, except it didn't work. So what the hell? Uh, so I, I was annoyed. I was uh, doubting myself. I said, well, no, mathematically, this has to be the way it works. I did some Googling. Uh, you know, I'll put some links in the description. Uh, and basically I was very irritated. And so I said, well, all right. I, I basically said, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my HPC 1200 blitz and I forget about these exact measurements that, that I got from the, the PDF I found online, uh, you know, exact to the, th I think that's thousands of a millimeter or thousands of an inch. Uh, you know, I'm just going to eyeball it and say, why the heck not? You know, I, I was so annoyed uh, that, that it wasn't working. I felt like a hack. And uh, so I cut this uh, halfway, just sort of eyeballing. All right, here's the one, here's the two. I'm just going to pick a point that looks roughly between and try it out. And um, it actually worked a little bit better. Um, it's not working now, which is fine. Uh, but it did, as far as occasion, see, it did, doesn't work now. So it worked a little bit better, and it kind of made me think, hmm, uh, that's interesting. So maybe I'm not entirely crazy. Um, so, well, the other, the other thing I thought was, I, th I thought I had an inspiration. I said, oh, it's practically a new lock. You know what? I'm going to douse this thing with Houdini, not, you know, pour it, uh, spray it liberally and that'll make it work. Well, I, I feel like it helped, but it still didn't make it open up. Uh, and so I was like, well, I know these are the half cuts. I, I mean, the, the fact that this worked a little better makes me think I'm close, but why, you know, I want to be like Lockpicking Lawyer. I put it in and it's supposed to work and it's not working. And, you know, how do I know if I'm trying this out? Does it not work because I decoded it wrong? Or, you know, it's, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Like, you don't know if you're close, you know, close is no, no cigar, you know. So uh, that was frustrating, but this gave me sort of a glimmer of, What's going on here? So I I actually sat out and I, I counted the the steps, the the little bars, the, the spaces between the high cut, the 328 for the number one position, and the the number two, the 305. And I said, all right, if each one of these is like I don't know uh, a unit, you know. And so I counted them between, and so between 328 and 305, well. Uh, that's 23, uh, which you can actually do by subtraction, but I, I wanted to visually see it like one, two, three. And so it ends up being, yes, there's actually 23 here. So, uh, the PDF that I found online, um, this is a key, not something else, but anyway, uh, so the, the measurements that I found online, I, I Googled, um, 
Hold on, where is it? I, I googled uh, 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 quick set key space and depth uh, chart or whatever. And so this is what I got. So I took the 328 for number one, the 305. I said, all right, I need one and a half. So halfway between those. So uh, that, like I said, is 23 uh, thousandths of an inch. So the, the PDF that I was looking at that had these half cuts, um, it said that to use 0.317. And I said, well, okay, but if you actually count it up, 23 divided by two is 11 and a half, not 12. So, uh, so I said, well, the, the PDF that I found said to use 317, but when I actually counted it out, uh, you know, if you want to be technical and why the hell not, I, this is being technical. Uh, I said, well, technically, technically halfway between one, between one and two is 316 and a half, not 317. So maybe it's because of that small variation. I said, all right, if I cut a new key to these, you know, really more precise things, which I could do on the, the framing, uh, uh, th that'll work. That that's that's got to be the thing that's holding me back here. You know, I, I don't know why I made you know the the measurements I found in that PDF for the for these trial keys. You know, I all right. I that's what's gonna do it. So I cut a new set, and so we ended up with this. I did a lot of key cutting yesterday, uh, and so uh, that was with my I call them calculate half depths. The um, so I didn't. I didn't want to put all the measurements, but basically, the, the third cut is two twenty-four and a half. I'm showing that it's, um, yeah. The, the, and then I'm counting like the extra little itty bitty half thing. So I said that. Or is, or did, all right, this is gonna work because now I'm really precise. This has got to work. So I put it in, and <laughs> what the hell? It still didn't work. And so I'm like, what is going on here? Am I insane? Uh, so, um. Yeah, and I lubed it, like I said, and uh, it occasionally would work, but I was very uh, perplexed. And so I was just like, all right, I'm a hack. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a real locksmith. I have, what a waste, you know, spare parts. All right, so uh, I, then I was about to give up for like the third time, and I noticed that my HPC uh, card uh, had different depths. Uh, so you might notice, well, I noticed that the first one is 329. Well, hold on a second here. The first one here is 328. Okay, well, I don't know. This looks older and jankier. Maybe these are old quick set depths. I have no idea. Uh, and, well, this is the official HPC Blitz card, so this has got to be the real deal. This is legit. So I said, Maybe that was my problem. Maybe I'm off by thousands of an inch. And so when I did all those calculations, they were off. So I recalculated everything. Unsurprisingly, it was 0 0.001 different. Uh, but I said, all right, we're gonna we're gonna do the the new what I call the new quick set depths. It begins with a 0 0.329. That will do it. That that's got to be the difference. That, that I'm gonna cut that. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be smooth. It's gonna work wonderfully and everything will be great. So I cut it and put it in and it did not work. Come on, uh, you know, this is a real uh, test of faith here, uh, very annoyed. Uh, I said, come on, this is, this is ridiculous. First, first of all, why are there two different sets of depths? That, that, right away, that, that is annoying, but maybe there's old, maybe there's new, uh, but the whole thing irritated me, so. Uh, yeah, there's no reason, but I'm sure there is a reason, but no reason I'm aware of. But anyway, I have a question on locksmith Twitter about the differences. Uh, subsequent research has shown that there are, there, let's see, subsequent research showed, I, I can't figure out a rhyme or reason why some begin with 0 0.328 and some begin with 329. This is from labpins.com, which, labpins, you know, you've seen that's pretty, uh, official, I guess, or somewhat, uh, and they used the point three two eight, the same one that I found in this locksmithschoolforyou.com, which I have to admit is a little suspect, but based on the name. But labpins.com, that sounds legit. They have point three two eight. Well, why does my HPC card have point three two nine? Okay, I found lockreference.com had point three two nine. Uh, so I still, that's an open mystery 
But unfortunately, it turned out not to matter because neither one of these worked uh, based on based on starting at the 328 or the 329, which was very annoying to me. Uh, so finally, I said, well, all right, let me go back to the beginning, the ones I got from the internet, the, the ABC settings for the, the tryout keys. Uh, I, I said, well, their C is off slightly. It's off by one. So let me just try sort of an improved version of theirs and to, to fix the C. Um, so I created this minor tweak version um, and uh, that actually worked the worst out of them all. So uh, I thought, oh, well, anyway, so I tried that. It did not work. It definitely did not work. So uh, I was annoyed. Uh, I had like two or three or more uh, fault starts here. Um, and so uh, I think, I don't know, I, I think I, I was, for some reason, bumping had come into my head and I said, well, uh, you know, one of the points of quick set beside, of the smart key besides being uh, harder to pick is it's supposed to not be susceptible to the bumping. Uh, so, but I was sort of fiddling with it and uh, what I came up with uh, was I was sort of fiddling with it, and this is sort of like the, the grand revelation here, uh, but what I discovered, uh, let's pick the right one here, why not, works very well. So what I discovered is that when you put it in and you try it like a key, it doesn't work. See, I'm, I'm trying, it's not working. But the whole technique, which, yeah, I could have said at the beginning, but sorry, uh, if you try it lightly as if you are doing a bump key, sort of, uh, I had much, much more success. Much, it's like night and day. So when you put it in, you try to force it, it like locks up, it seizes it, it fights you. When you sort of are gentle with it, like it's, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's always gonna work sometimes, especially for some of these keys, uh, it did, it did uh, require a little bit of effort. Um, like this was the worst one. Uh, this one does take a few tries, so. You know, eventually it does actually work, but this was, you know, th this is my least favorite uh, of, of them all here. Uh, so that that's what the things are. Eventually it will work, I swear. Come on. But, uh, yeah, but the, the whole point is that you sort of loosely sort of try to be nice to it. And um, I am surprised it's not working. Huh. Well, in my testing, it did work. It doesn't matter because I like this one the least anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, all right. Well, I don't want to waste too much time on this, although I would like to because I'm stubborn. The whole This is really a journey of stubbornness. But, um, come on. There it is, finally. Ugh. All right, so that's stubborn. Uh, the other minor thing I would note, besides the, the technique of sort of um, lightly uh, trying uh, just to sort of be gentle with it and just sort of, <laughs> look at that, it's like butter. It's amazing. Uh, I would note that it is, for some reason, uh, it does seem easier to go to the open, the unlock, to the clockwise right position. Um, you can get it to go the other way, but it, it does require a little bit more effort. Uh, there it is, it went that way. Um, so just if you do this, just as no, but, uh, I guess the, the main takeaway here is, yeah, just, I discovered that when you try to force it, um, it does not play well, Let's see, but occasionally it will click through, but you're just much better off being gentle with it and sort of using that kind of like bumping subtleness with it. So that's my tip. Um, yeah, I still don't know if I'm going to be, um, making my own set or buying them, uh, I think I might go with making them because I'm really not going to be using these in high volume and now that I kind of know the trick. Um, but yeah, for my use case where I decode it and then I say, uh, let's go find the one. Like in this case, if I decode it to 42336, I'd say, oh, I need to go to my tryout set and find B, A, B, B, C. If, uh, if I have all the B, A, Bs on one ring, then I just look for the ring that's marked B, A, B and then find it. Uh, there'll be nine on each ring and that should be good to go. So... Uh, that's the idea. I hope it was useful to you. Uh, I still have an open question about this 0 0.328 versus 0 0.329 for the depth one, uh, but we will see uh, what Locksmith Twitter says, and I will put some helpful links in the description, and uh, hopefully this, this has been interesting and useful. So, all right. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.